Welcome to the art. Actually, no, wait, no, no. We're on the main page. We're welcome to Batik Walla by Victoria. I'm Victoria, and this is my Batik studio. <laughs> this is a quick reminder that if you were a previous member of the Art of Creative Batik group, it's a Facebook group, we're doing a live video in there today to um, just as a warm up to get when, because the workshop is reopening to the public so that you can join and I can not only teach you how to make batiks, but motivate you and inspire you to create and to make batiks and whatever other project that you may be doing at the time. It's a once a week meetup. It's worth every penny if you're into creating, making, and possibly selling your artwork online. I'm the one that can teach you how to do that. So the workshop is not open today. It is going to be open soon. We are I'm having my outdoor fiber art studio completely rebuilt in my new location, my new house that I'm in. Well, it's an old house. This house was built in 1915. No kidding. And uh, <laughs> it's so it's so exciting to live in a house that was built in 1915. That's the stairwell over the the wash the laundry area. And guys, this is just a quick little video. I'm actually headed over into the art of creative batik in a minute. I'm always like five minutes. I'm not always five minutes late, but I'm sometimes I'm five minutes late and today I'll probably be five minutes late, but that's okay because we're going to come together and today we will do a warm up video for the members that are in there and get kind of get back into the groove. So the outdoor studio is getting rebuilt. It's uh, it's raining this weekend, so things had to kind of stall for a minute. And, but it's coming along amazingly. And my con the contractor who uh, found the job to do this is actually also an artist. So he really understands the art perspective of creating this fiber art studio. And I think that's why he was like, oh, this is the perfect project for me. And I'm just so grateful and so blessed. And we're all really blessed that this is coming together as like harmoniously as it is. But it is, it does take time. So I'm going to wait till it is done enough that there's not tools everywhere and we have space. And I, I'll bring you guys out there. If you're in the workshop, we can, we'll do the dyes together, which is like a crucial part of making batiks, which is something I haven't been able to do. Since I've been here, I've been, I make, I can work, but I, with the camera and the live video, it's just like, gets so choppy and it's, it's just hasn't been working. And, but now it's getting rebuilt. So I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm, I have boost, uh, internet boosters like coming so I can, uh, and we're going to, I'm going to just trial and error until we get the internet out there. And there is traffic guys. I am on highway 101. I'm in downtown Nehalem. So it's not high speed traffic, but it is traffic. And it's just like such an interesting area. It's like, it's special. So we're gonna, we're gonna deal with that. I'm in this tight little nook on Highway 101. It's just, it's hardly, it's very private, but it's a little noisy. So we'll just have to deal with that. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you? I have been encouraged, I encourage people on Instagram to sign up to my e-letter to get notified for the workshop. And we're gonna, oh, I'm missing comments. Okay, let me see. So great, hey Sherry, good to see you too, Diane. Guys, I'm not in the group yet. If you guys are in the group, I'm gonna head over there and we're gonna have a nice little quiet painting session today. And uh, and then we're gonna talk about the group reopening and all the components that are need to come together for it. And I really would love your feedback. And of course, you know, the, the atmosphere of the uh, closed group is, it's just uh, helpful and it's very like conducive to thriving in ideas and inspiration. It's just a big difference between a public setting and a, an enclosed group where the focus can be on batik and creating. And that's why it is, it just is that way. I've tried to teach publicly. It just isn't the same vibe at all. And um, so the closed group is the way it's gonna be. And there is a new structure for joining coming. I'm putting that together right now. It's a lot of technical stuff. <laughs> so it, takes, it takes my attention. Great, Diane, I'll see you guys over there. Thanks, Sherry. I'll, I'm going to head over there now. Yeah, almost 12.05. So that means 
I'm right on time. Five minutes late, <laughs> kind of. All right, um, guys, thanks for joining. I can't wait to show you all the new things that we're working on. And um, I can't wait to see you guys again here. I'll warm up every Sunday with a little preview live the way I used to. And keep you all updated for when it reopens. And then we will create and excel and be very productive. So I'm so excited for that. Okay, guys, have a great week. I'll see you online in various ways. I am putting together a little YouTube series to help you make batiks before you even join. I'm shy to do it, but I'm going to try and it will succeed. I will do it. I'm going to do it. It's working out great. All right, guys, I'll see you in the group. Have a great day.